Hello, my name is Courtney Stewart, and I'm Senior Research Assistant in the Department of Islamic Art at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Today, we are looking at a small ruby studded and golden bottle that most likely was produced in the 17th or 18th century in India. This period in India was among the wealthiest in history and rulers were especially fond of jewelry and jeweled objects that demonstrated their riches. The setting of the red gemstones on this jeweled object is in a technique that is known as kundan. In this method, pure 24 karat gold is beaten into thin strips of foil, which are pressed into place with a tool to surround the gemstones on all sides. The repeated application of the gold strips builds up to create distinct walls between the gemstones, which holds them snugly in place. The top of the bottle is surmounted with a red gemstone and is surrounded by small gold granules or gold balls. The top twists open to reveal a miniature spoon attached to the inside of the lid. The original use for this opulent object would have been to contain a precious substance, perhaps perfume or snuff, and it would have originally been owned by an elite member of society. Snuff is a flavored and scented tobacco made from crushed leaves, which was inhaled or snuffed into the nasal cavity with a small spoon such as this one. The use of tobacco was introduced into India by the Portuguese, who picked up this plant and its related customs from the Americas. The appearance of this beautiful object, its materials and methods of production are all characteristic of the Mughal dynasty in India, which was in power from the middle of the 16th until the middle of the 19th century. For more information on this object, please see the museum's website. Thanks for watching.